According to the text, which piece of Vival art was on display in the Peterson Automated Museum in 2017? As we said, this is a kind of detailed question. Artist Justin Bibble explained that he wanted to reclaim the importance of the piñata as a symbol in Latin culture. To do so, he created numerous sculptures from strips of tissue paper, which is similar to the material used to create piñata. In 2017, huh, that's the main thing, the details now. Fival created an impressive life-size piñata, like what? Life sculpture of the Gis Piro's lowrider car. That's the main thing right now. Which was displayed, alhamdulillah, there's now the answer, at the Peterson Automated Museum in Los Angeles, California. The answer is here. The answer now is here. The Jaibis Rose Low Rider was famously driven by Jay Faldis, an early president of the Los Angeles Imperial Car Club. Okay. So, is it a painting of Los Angeles? No, mister. He doesn't say that. A painting of the Pinata? He doesn't mention even a painting. He said a sculpture. Okay. Now we have two kinds of sculpture. Is it a sculpture of Jay Valdez or a sculpture of Low Rider Car? No, he said here, Low Rider Car. So, it's a direct answer. The answer is D. Number three. Again, I think it's a kind of detailed question. It said what the text indicate about the discovery of the sandal. Something that talk again about only one of the details. As I told you, it's better to read the answers before going there. It said the discovery revealed that Roman Empire had more influence on Norway than archaeologists previously assumed. The sandal would have degraded if it hadn't been removed from the ice. See, temperatures contributed to both protecting and revealing the sandal. D, archaeologists would have found the sandal eventually without help from the general public. I need what is the main thing about the discovery of the sundown. The ice melted on a Norwegian mountain during a particularly warm summer in 2019, revealing the cave. Warm summer revealed this, revealing a 1,700-year-old sundown to a mountaineer looking for artifact. The sundown would normally have degraded quickly but it was instead well preserved for centuries. So because it was preserved in ice, so it starts to be saved. If it wasn't saved in ice, it will be degraded by the surrounding ice. According to archaeologist Espen Feinstad and his team, the sandal, like those worn by imperial Romans, wouldn't have offered any protection from the cold in the mountains. So some kind of insulation, like fabric on animal skin, would have needed would have needed, so this actually wasn't in the sandal, to be worn on the feet with the sandal, like your socks. So the discovery revealed that the Roman Empire had more influence in Norway than Arthur's previously assumed. It doesn't talk about that. It's not the main thing. We're talking about the discovery of the sandal and that they found that it needs something important to wear it when they are wearing the sandal because it doesn't have any kind of insulation. And you talk about that the temperature is one of the main uh, uh, effects uh, on the sandal. The sandal would have degraded if it hadn't been removed from the ice. No. If it had, if it have, it will be degraded if it removed from the ice. The opposite. So thank you. Temperature contributed to both protecting. Yes, protecting because it was covered by ice. Revealing because the warm summer that reveal it. So now the temperature was stated and this was stated in the main one. So see, archaeologists would have found the sun eventually without help from the general public. I didn't find anything talk about the general public. So the answer is C. Number four. Again, what does the text most strongly about the disco genre? The disco genre, again, we're talking about a detail. I'm going to read the answer for the question first. It gave rise 
to the black women's musical tradition that has endured even though the genre itself faded in the, in the late 20th century. It has been unjustly ignored by most scholars, despite the importance of the themes addressed by many of the genre's songs. It has been unfairly dismissed for the inclusion of subject matter that also found in other musical genre. It evolved over time from a superficial genre focused on Romans to a genre focused on more serious concern. Okay, mister, let's read. He said, Disco remains, take care of the first sentence. Disco remains one of the most ridiculous popular music genre of the late 20th century. But as scholars have argued, the genre is far less superficial that many people believe. Take the case of disco icon, Donna Summer. She, this is one of the singers, think, she may have been associated with popular songs about love and heartbreak. Subject hardly unique to disco, by the way. But like many black women singers before her, like, the cares you like them much of her music that it's disco also reflect concerns about community and identity these concerns are present in many of the genre greatest songs and they generally don't require much digging or to review okay mister let's look at a number four it gives rise to a black women musical tradition that has endured even though the genre itself faded in the late 20th century Number one, he didn't say that it's faded. Number one, he didn't say that it's faded. He said that it's become to both the most ridiculous popular music song. So no one start caring about it. And here, the black women actually wasn't the main thing in the passage that took about the disco genre. It has been unjustly ignored by most scholars, despite the importance of the theme addressed by many of the genre songs. Okay. That wasn't the main thing for us. The theme that was addressed by the song. The main thing for us, it was what about the disco genre? Number four, and number uh, literacy. It has been unfairly dismissed, maybe, because he said that other also deal with the subject that was dealing with the disco. Maybe dismissed for the inclusion Inclusive of subject matter that is also found in other music genre. Yeah, it's found in the lot thing. That the subject was present in many other genre that actually in other songs that don't require much digging to reveal. So the inclusion in other songs is better because of that they dismissed it. So maybe see. It evolved. No, it didn't evolve. It didn't evolve at all. It actually, it starts to be the opposite. It starts to be declining. So the answer is C in number four. Number five. According to the text, what challenge, take care, did the researcher have to overcome to examine the glyphs? Glyphs mean drawing. This is also easy. What the challenge that they face? This is a detailed question. Let's find the key words. The cave was so remote that the researchers couldn't easily reach it. Some of the glyphs, I mean the painting or the picture, were so faint that they couldn't be photographed. The cave's dimension prevented the researchers from fully viewing the glyphs. The researcher were unable to create a 3D model of the cave. I need now the challenge. Where is it? Let's find. He said in that 2022, researcher rediscovered ancient indigenous glyphs or drawings on the walls of a cave in Alabama. Okay, I need the challenge. The cave ceiling was only a few feet high, affording no position. Huh? This is the challenge. Affording no position for which the glyph being as wide as 10 feet could be viewed or photographed in their entirety. So because the ceiling was so low, it doesn't give the availability 
to picture or photograph the glyphs. However, the researcher used a technique called photogrammetry to assemble numerous photos together, numerous photos of the wall into a 3D model. They then worked with the representative of tribe originally from the region, including the Chexo nation, to understand the significance of the animal and annoying figures adorning the cave. Thank you. Here the challenge that it wasn't so wide. So the cave was so remote? No. Some of the glyphs were so faint? No. The cave's dimension, yes, prevent the research from fully viewing the glyphs? That, right, because it was low. The ceiling was a few feet high. The researchers were unable to create a 3D model? No. So as we said, the answer for number five is C. Number six. Which choice best to state the main idea? That's the first question that talk about the main idea. Let's have a look here again at the answer. The narrator explained the difficulties he encountered on a trip and how he overcame them. The narrator described what he saw during a long trip through a frequently visited location. The narrator recalls fond memories of a journey that he took through some beautiful river counties. The narrator re remembers a trip he took and admits he getting lost, to getting lost. Okay, forget about the first line. He's just telling you the title and the author. During a pedestrian trip last summer, take care. I said that, concentrate on the first sentence and on the last sentence. I know that it's only a full sentence here or it's only two seconds. And find if there is something repeated. During a pedestrian trip last summer, through one or two of the river counties of New York, I found myself at the day decline, somewhat embarrassed about the road I was pursuing. That means that he forgot the road. He forgot the direction, the way. The land undulated very remarkably. On my path for the last hour, had warned about and about so confusedly, again, in its effort to keep in the valley that I no longer knew, no longer knew in what direction lay the sweet village be, where I had to determine, had determined to stop for the night. So the narrator explained the difficulties of KMB he encountered on a trip and how he overcame them. No, the first part is right, the second part is wrong because it didn't tell us anything about how we solved the problem. The narrator described what he saw during a long trip. He didn't describe anything. Through a frequently visited location, even he didn't mention visit lo visited location. So this is wrong. The narrator recalls fond memories. How fond? And he said embarrassed. How fond? And he said embarrassed. No. D. The narrator remembered the trip he took to admit and getting lost. Yes, he said that about the trip. And he admitted that he got lost. So the answer is D. Number seven. Again, the main idea. Which choice best say the main idea of the text? As I told you, go to the keywords first. Research suggests that users with high expectation for a new technology can feel content happy with that technology even after experiencing negative disconfirmation. B. Research suggests that most users of smart home technology will not achieve a feeling of satisfaction given the utilization challenge of such technology. Although most smart home technology is aimed at meeting or exceeding users' high expectation, those expectations in general <coughs> sorry, remain poorly understood. <coughs> Number eight, although negative disconfirmation has often been studied, little is known about the cognitive mechanism shaping user reaction to it in the context of new technology adoption. <coughs> the first sentence, as I told you before, and the last sentence, and if any, anything, repeat in three. In a study of new technology adoption, okay, 
David Marquand in L examined negative disconfirmation, which occurs when experience falls short of one expectation to determine whether it could lead to positive outcome for user. Take care. The main thing that they are going to fail in a kind of confirming, a confirmation. So disconfirmation, but it's going to lead to positive outcomes or not. The team focused on established user of smart home technology, which present inherent utilization challenge, but tend to attract users with high expectation, often leading to feeling of dissonance. The researcher found that many users employed cognitive mechanism to what? To mitigate, to mitigate, I'm sorry, to mitigate those feelings means to relieve, relieve, to relax those feelings. Ultimately, re re reversing their initial sense of disappointment. So how is it going to re reverse? They're going to feel happy. Okay. Let's find the answer again. Research suggests that user with high expectation for new technology, okay, can feel content, happy, okay, with the technology after experience negative disconfirmation. Yes, after experience negative disconfirmation, they can reverse this kind of disappointment. So they're going to feel happy. So maybe A. Research suggests that most users of smart home technology, most users take care of that. It didn't talk about most users, but let's continue. A smart home technology will not achieve a feeling of satisfaction, no. He said they're going to feel. You're going to revert the initial sense. Thank you. This is wrong. Although most smart home technology is aimed at meeting exceeding user high expectation, those expectations remain, remain poorly understood. No, he didn't say that. He said by the end, they are going to reverse the disappointment. Yeah, okay, so. Although negative disconfirmation, okay, has often been studied, little is known about the cognitive mechanism shaping user reaction to it in the context of new technology. We didn't talk about that, what they know about cognitive mechanism or not. We are talking about that they reverse the kind of disappointment. So the answer for number seven is A. Number eight. The question is here. Which choice best to see the main idea of the text? The same thing again. I'm going to read this actually, but this, as I told you, this is the excerpt or the blur. But let's go to the answers. The house is beautiful and well built, but the children miss their old home in London. The children don't like the house nearly as much as their parents do. Each member of the family admires a different characteristics of the house. Although their parents believe the house has several drawbacks, the children are enchanted by it. Love it. Okay. Let's go here, he said. The following text from Addis. Okay, we don't care about that. Find it. Five young siblings have just moved with their parents from London to a house in the countryside that they call the White House. It was not really a pretty house at all. It was quite ordinary, and mother thought it was rather inconvenient. The mother did the first sentence. And was quite annoyed at there being no shelves to speak of, and hardly a cupboard in the place. Okay, so the mother doesn't like it. Father used to say that their ironwork on the roof and copying was like an architect's nightmare. Again, the father doesn't like it. But the house was deep in the country, with no other house inside. And the children had been in London for two years, for two years without so much as one's going to the seaside, even for a day, by an exhaustion train. And so the White House seemed to them a sort of fairy palace. Fairy palace means that they liked it. Sit down in an earthly paradise. So the children like it, but the student, uh, I'm sorry, but the parents didn't like it. So the house is beautiful and well built, but the children miss the old. No, the children didn't miss. The children like the White House. The children don't like the house nearly as much their parents. No, the children like the house, but the parents didn't like. Each member of the family admires the different characteristics of the house. No, parents didn't like it. Although their parents believe the house has several drawbacks, yes, has several problems. The children are enchanted by it. Yes, he said here. That it's a sort of fairy palace and earthly paradise for the children. 
So the answer for number eight is D. Number nine. Again, which choice bestead the text main idea? Again, the same thing, the main idea. So the first question, set of question, where for uh, details, now four main ideas. Let's look at the keywords. He often depicts the subject of his clutches using un an unrealistic style. He uses different kinds of materials, depending on what kind of sculpture he plans to create. He tends to base his art on important historical figures rather than on fictional characters. He has altered his approach to sculpture over time and his works have become increasingly abstract. Let's find. Here he said, in many, in many of his sculpture, artist Richard Hunt uses broad forms rather than extreme accuracy to hint at specific people or ideas. They care. So now he used abstract and concrete. And here he said that he used broad forms rather than extreme accuracy. In his first major work, Archon 1956, Holt constructed the mythical character Archon. However, it's mythical, it's a myth, not real. However, it was changed into a spider by welding bits of steel together into something that, although visually human, is strange and machine like. And this large bronze sculpture, The Light of Truth, The Light of Truth, 2021, commemorates activists, journalist Ida B. Wells, using mainly flowing, curved pieces of metal that create stylized, stylized flame. Okay. So here he said he often depicts the subject of his sculpture using an unrealistic style. Yes, he said, broad forms, broad forms. And he used actually unrealistic style because here he said, that it's something strange. So maybe he used different kind of material. We didn't talk about the materials. He tend to base his art on important historical figures. I'm sorry. He has, he built his figure on specific people and ideas, not only on important historical figures. And even this character is mythical character. He has altered his approach to sculpture over time. His work has become increasingly abstract. No. It wasn't that. And he didn't talk about the modification in his sculpture made processes. So the answer is A. Any question relate to that one, guys? Faisal, Hassan, Lina, Tahir, Wail. No, sir. All, all, all kids. Hey, Mr. Okay. As I told you, I'm going to go to the inference. I have to start the inference. Uh, I, have a, uh, I have a tip. You have what? 